Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this video, what we're going to be learning is how to create a pop up, such as when I get close to this treasure chest, where it will come up and show us what to do and then disappear. So that's what we're going to be creating today. And you can see once I've enabled or interacted with the chest, I cannot get that pop up again. So let's quickly switch over to Game Maker Studio and start working on this tutorial. So in here, you can see I have a very basic room. If I go to my room and I just have some coins and I have these two treasure chests here. And I've placed them on their own kind of a layer and inside each one, all there really is is a debug variable and I'll turn that on just to show you what it does. And in the object itself, we have, it's a parent of a interact object. And so let's actually just load that up so I could quickly go through it. So you can see that we don't have any animation. We have a radius for interaction. And then we have a Boolean to say whether or not we have uh, interacted with this object. The draws is here for the debug. So if I actually run this game, the debug that I turned on for that single treasure chest should have a green circle around it. So that is our interaction layer. And you can see uh, <laughs> that would have to be fixed, but the same thing goes for that treasure chest up there. So how would we get a pop-up there? Well, I've already created a sprite. I actually have two. I have an interact and then interact animate it. So let's just deal with this interact first. So I'm going to close everything, including my room, just so I have more space to work. And inside my objects, I'll just create a new object. I'll just call it OBJ and let's call this pop-up. And I want to make sure that I assign the correct sprite. So I'll assign the first one, which is not animated. And that's really all I need to do here. What I want to do is all the work inside these two objects here, the interact and the treasure chest. So let's open up the interact itself and let's go to the create. So what I want to do is anytime I have an interactable object, what I want to have happen is automatically, if I place say a treasure chest in here, let me just take off my snap here. If I place a treasure chest in here, I want that pop-up to automatically show up. So we can do this through code. So let's actually create a new variable. Let's call this pop-up ID. And what we want to have happen is we want to say instance create layer. And let's create at the X position of whatever object we are placing in. And then we will say Y minus 16 to have it move up a little bit. And we'll also use another built-in variable called layer because we want it to happen on the exact same layer that this object is on. Obviously, we could change this to something like helpers or we could say pop-ups. It's really up to you. I'm just going to keep it on layer. And the object I want to create is obj underscore pop-up. Now, this variable here I can use within um, my parent object or my child object. So I'll have access to this everywhere. And the one thing I don't want to have happen is this pop-up to automatically appear. So if I actually hit F5, as long as I have everything correct, we should see some pop-ups here. And I don't want that happening right away. So to do this with this pop-up ID, we could say with pop-up ID. And then all we want to do is say visible equals false. Now we could also just say pop-up ID dot visible equals false. It's the exact same code. However you want to do it is totally up to you. Now, all we have to do is whenever our player is within the interactable radius, then we want that pop up to happen. So right now I can walk up to that treasure chest. I can walk up to that one and we will not get that pop up. So what we want to do is fix that. And to do that, let's go into the step event and we're going to create the step event inside the parent itself. So the children will inherit this event. So we can say if we have not been interacted with, then we'll say if collision underscore circle, because we have the radius of our current position with the radius. If, we've, if we have come into a collision with our character and the precision will use false and ignore ourselves. So if we've collide it with the character or our character is within that circle, then we'll just say popup ID dot visible equals true. Now, if we haven't collided or our player has walked away, then we want to set it to false. So if I hit F5, 
this should pretty much cover everything that we need to do here. If I come up and I come close to this treasure chest, you can see the E comes up and I can walk away and it goes away. Now, if I hit the letter E, you can see it still kind of stays up. So we also need to fix that. And it will be the same for these ones. So let's close that and fix that little bug there. And to do that, we'll open up our object treasure. The reason we're opening up the treasure object is because I have the key press on here. So you can see that if we haven't been interacted, we do the exact same thing. We make sure that we have collided with the character. If we have collided with the character, let's make sure that the object cannot be interacted with again. We switch the image to a open chest and then we just have some coins appear. And I'm gonna fix this right now while we're here. And all we need to do is destroy that pop-up. Now remember, we created the pop-up within the parent object in the create event. Now because our treasure is inheriting the object interact, we have access to the pop-up itself, which is this pop-up ID. So the easiest thing for us to do here is once we have collided with the chest and we've opened it, we can just remove the pop-up by saying instance destroy, and we can just pass in the pop-up ID. Again, this is the same with saying with pop-up ID, and then we could say instance destroy. Both will work, it's really just up to you. Now if I hit F5, let's run the code again. Let's try to open the first treasure chest here. Actually, let's walk away, make sure it works. All right, let's open it and hopefully this E will go away. And you can see it does. And I can't interact with that chest again. Now we can do it with the one that we have our debug on. Perfect, and let's try and make it to that last one, which is up the hill here. And let's go ahead and interact perfect now the other thing that we can do is you can see that i have this animated interaction here so it's just kind of the e going back and forth so all we need to do is set the sprite correctly and we can hit f5 and this will animate all of our interactions so you can see i can come up here and we get that nice little e i can go there and once again i can hit this last treasure chest up here and when I actually interact with this treasure chest, it goes away and there's no way for me to interact with that. Perfect. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a few things and a huge shout out to the Patreon supporters, the anonymous supporters, as well as Jean, Paul, and Wayne. You guys rock. Thanks again.